this is a model of water molecule as what you can see from the front view water molecule has a v-shape or bent molecular shape it can be like this as well so i'm going to write the formula of h2o and also i'm going to draw the two-dimensional water molecule All right, so I'm going to find out the symmetry elements operation for this water molecule. So the first symmetry element is rotation axis. So I'm going to rotate this molecule. So first, I want to find the axis. So if you look like this, so what I can see is the axis is passing through the oxygen atom. So we can rotate 180 degree and also 360 degree through this axis. So we can label as C1 and C2 axis. So this is main axis. Alright, so I'm going to look at the water molecule from the top view like this. So it means that the axis passing through the oxygen atom here. So I try to rotate the water molecule. So this is the starting point, the origin. So I'm going to rotate 180 degree through this axis stop so what we can see that same configuration before and after the rotation and then I'm going to rotate 360 degree through this axis as well And again, we get the same configuration before and after the rotation. Alright, so the next, I'm going to find out the next symmetry elements operation, which is reflection. So to do the reflection, I need to find the internal mirror plane. So if we look at the water molecule from this view, front view, so, the plane should be here, cutting through the oxygen atom here. Alright, so what we can see, this is like a mirror plane. So, we can see that before and after the reflection, we get the same configuration. So, this plane as well is parallel with the main axis. So it means that this is vertical plane. So we can label here passing through the oxygen atom, cutting through the oxygen atom. So this plane is sigma V. So this is the axis just now. Okay. Next we can also find out another internal mirror plane which is the plane cutting through all atoms it means that cutting through the whole molecule so we can imagine that this plane cutting through hydrogen oxygen and hydrogen we will get the same configuration so because the plane is like a mirror plane so let's say Put like this. Okay, we just imagine that this plane cutting through all atoms. So we will get the same configuration. So as what we can see here, this plane actually parallel with the main axis. So this is this plane also known as vertical plane. So we can draw here vertical plane 
Alright, so here is what we can see. These two vertical plane actually different each other. The first one cutting through the oxygen atom. And the second one is cutting through all atoms. So we can differentiate between these two vertical plane labeled as prime here. So in conclusion, if we want to list all the symmetry elements operation for this water molecule, the first one, this molecule has C1 and C2. So as we know that C1 is equal to E identity because all molecule molecules have identity. And then the next, this water molecule also has sigma v and also v prime so we can also conclude that this water molecule has two vertical plane so that's all the symmetry elements operation for water molecule